go, oh, men are, if you go with some doctrine that says like Lucifer didn't want to, or the devil didn't want to bow to man. If you was told to do what the fuck you told, go to your job <laughs> and tell your motherfucking, your, your regular supervisor that the job you got hired to do, you're not going to do it because you saw the CEO doing some shit. He had a helicopter and he don't got to answer the phone or some shit. So you ain't going to answer the phone and you're going to make sure you just, you're going to become the new CEO by force. And they, they get your stupid ass out. They're going to have security come get your ass. And one of the things I think people fail to realize, the devil is not the reflection of God. Y'all, y'all forgetting that? The devil is not equal to God. In the story, the devil convinced a third of the angels what the fuck he was talking about. He's like, yeah, I'm riding with you, Lucy. <laughs> I'm riding with you, Lucifer. I got you. We got this. We going to war. God didn't fight. God didn't get up and go, let me take care of this because Lucifer is involved. He told Michael, Michael, do you know what Michael means? I look up shit like this. I know things like this. Michael actually means the name of Michael or Michael, the angel, the quote unquote archangel in literature. The doctrine says that that name means, which is a question, who is like God? That's cold blooded to me. Your name is a question that asks, who is like God? And that nigga said, who think they like God? God was like, man, Lucifer, dude. He said, let's go fuck them up real quick, y'all. They got their ass cast out. Fallen angels. My nigga, you couldn't even beat another angel. But you think you... Because you cunning, you look smart, you one of the most beautiful angels, you one of God's favorite, all of a sudden, you get big-headed. Pride goeth before the fall. Makes so much sense. You didn't lose to God, you lost to God's creation. An angel. That's, that's what you lost to. So I don't have sympathy for you. I, I, I just, I don't have sympathy for the devil character. I think it's the same concept I talk about with humans. You feel entitled to something without working for it. You didn't do anything. The body, everything you have that was given to you, you mistreat it. You mistreat others based on some shit you think. And most of the time, people don't even think it. They, they heard some shit, saw some shit, learned some shit. So now they just want to reenact some shit. But then let's go into the concept of free will. Because man was given free will. Do you think free will is a good thing? Huh? Think about it. Think about the concept of free will. Does that really feel like a good thing to you? Are you looking like, man, I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. I was a kid that grew up with a lot of freedom. I didn't have a lot of guidance in my life. I was out there in them streets. <laughs> uh, you know, just out there, just out there playing. Just out there kicking it, doing my thing, just having a good time, nothing crazy. But I had to deal with the consequences of all my actions because of that free will for what feels like the totality of my life. From childhood up until very now, I have to deal with the consequences of all my actions. Free will is a tough burden, to be honest. Everybody don't need it. Everybody can't even handle it. But just like people do. Just like the concept with remember like grass always green on the other side. No, I think you don't know how to appreciate what the fuck you got. You just see something you don't have. And like a fucking, I don't even want to say a child. I don't even know what the fuck to call somebody like that. Like just because somebody have something that you don't have. Oh, I want that now. I want it. Well, they got it and I ain't got it. Grow the fuck up. Man the fuck up. Angel the fuck up. <laughs> you an archangel, my nigga. You supposed to be of one of the highest you are the highest caliber of motherfucking angel, ain't you? Archangel the fuck up. We got to deal with free will. What the fuck do it look like humans have done with free will? Outside of Wi-Fi. I fucks with Wi-Fi. I told you I think Wi-Fi is magic. I fucks with Wi-Fi. But think about the concept of this. And I can use me as an example. So I'm a kid. I'm like nine years old, eight years old or whatever. I get a few hundred dollars like for the whole month. Imagine being a kid with that freedom to do whatever the fuck I want to with that money. What do you think happened when I went and bought candy 
and stupid ass shit and toys and restaurant food. And then in the middle of the month when I had it, no money left. I starved. I was hungry than a motherfucker. Stomach hurting, sick from the candy. That's what free will is. Do you think everybody is qualified to have free will? Do you think free will is this like autonomous, great thing? Free will comes with the concept of dealing with your consequences. I tell people like motherfuckers that know me, I tell them like I'm a task completer because that free will, that shit had you up in the air, man. Like, man, if I do this or should I do this or what if I do this? And then if I do this, this may ha-. like that shit comes with things. It's like a science project. If I sent you, if I set you at wherever you work right now and told you, just do the job, figure it out. You would be in that bitch tripping like, ain't nobody going to train me. That's what happens with free will. No training. That shit is difficult. So you jealous of some shit that you see that you don't fucking understand. And this is all predicated on what? The concept of the angels not having free will. And Lucifer was like, man, that's some bullshit. Y'all feel me, right? So is free will a good thing? That's the question to really ponder. And why do you even think we have free will? Why do you think we have free will and the angels don't? Because a man wrote it. Y'all ain't listen to the intro. I tell you in the intro, that shit that had you at odds with you can't folk telling me it came from God because a man wrote. I'm supposed to believe something is of God because some man wrote it. Now, we relate to the devil in more ways, but I think that's the problem. I don't think that's a concept of, yeah, that's the good point of the debate or argument or my perspective or whatever. I think that just shows that it's correct. I do agree 100 percent, but I think that's the problem. Why would we want to relate to the devil? J. Cole got a song where he says, why do we cling to the villains knowing they kill them? My niggas had enough to swing from the sil- Like, why do we cling to the villains knowing they kill them? Why are you clinging to the motherfucker that you know is destined to lose? You better listen to Beyonce, goddamn it. You are a winner. You better listen to that bigger. That bigger hit different. Let me tell you something. That bigger, beyond- hey, I'm in the behalf. I don't fuck what you say. I don't give a fuck what you say. Say, say what you want about me, Q. How you in the behalf? Because, motherfucker, I'm there. Fuck you talking about? It's Beyonce. I'm in that shit. Let me tell you something. That motherfucking bigger. Dude, I can break that song down. Oh, dude, she is talking. The shit I'm talking about, that's what she's talking about in there. She's referencing everything I'm talking about. You never lose, we are winners. Like, Beyonce was talking. You understand me? She said, I'll be the root, you be the tree. Pass on a few that was given to me. That's the circle of life. Y'all better pay attention to what she was talking about. You're bigger than the picture they framed you to be. My dude, you put borders around something because something is greater. Oh, just look here. Dude, I'm trying to tell you, open your eyes. Perception, step back, see more. But we relating to the devil, I get you. I think that's part of the problem. Especially when I tell you, you are a god. Even this, I'm going to give you a, okay, let's play. <laughs> Let's play. Let's 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 really play. Y'all want to um, y'all want me dive into my consciousness again? I think I did this to y'all before. I think I did this. Um, the end of episode six. R.I.E. Tony, my brother in law. Rest into eternity. But I'm going to do this. Let's have a, let's have a little fun. Our physical form is Jesus and the stories of the Bibles are just analogies and not to be taken literally. 